selling your home in a hot market. What does that look like? And can you do it on your own or do you need us to help you? That's what we're talking about today. If you are in the process of thinking that you're gonna sell your home in this market or you are already in the process of selling your home, I wanna to talk to you specifically. If you sell your home right now, which is by the way called a for sale by owner, you probably could sell it and you probably could sell it quickly and then you would be done with it and you wouldn't have to deal with any agents. But here is something that I wanna tell you about in regards to why you should work with an agent during this market time and what benefits you're gonna get from it. The first thing I wanna talk about is getting your home market ready. We as agents show hundreds of homes probably throughout the year and we know exactly what buyers are looking for so when we enter into your home it's much more than just you need to do this you need to do that we actually are going to give you solid advice of what buyers are looking for so that not only can you sell your home quickly but also for top dollar so that's something very important to always make sure that you're getting your home market ready getting professional photos and video marketing done of your home is a crucial part in how much accessibility your home how many people are able to see it we as agents have a ton of connections with professional real estate photographers we are our own team here in savannah we have a videographer for our listings that we're able to get them done so it's really important to be able to have those connections and sure you can go and hire joe schmo off the internet that says that they can take the best photos of your home but honestly the proof is in the pudding and we have that here in the savannah market where we can show you all these different tools that we use to make sure that you get top dollar for your home Access to the MLS, which is a multi-listing service that we have here in Savannah, Georgia. Yes, you can go and put your home on Zillow and Trulia and all those different third-party websites, but honestly, the MLS connection that we have as agents is crucial because that way your home is visible to all real estate agents who have clients that are looking for your specific home. If someone has the search criteria that fits whatever we're putting into the MLS, so say your house is a three bedroom, two bath, it's 1800 square feet, and someone has that search criteria set up by another real estate agent, your home is gonna populate in their search. So it's really just a full circle of how we're able to get your home visible. And also not only with the MLS can we see, other agents can see your home and tell their clients about it, but also being able to set up appointments, people being able to view your home, you don't have to take that on yourself that responsibility, it's actually already set up through the MLS and how we list your home. Going along with that, confirming and denying appointments. So let's say for example, you your home is tenant occupied and your tenant works crazy hours and there's only a certain window of time that there are allowable appointments. Instead of you having to try to figure out when people can schedule, having hundreds, literally hundreds of phone calls probably and text messages about being able to see your home, all these real estate agents are going to request an appointment and you have the ability to confirm or deny these appointments. And also if we are say in the process of accepting an offer and you don't want any more showings, we can shut that system down and nobody else can access your property. Deciphering offers and reading contracts. This is literally why we are real estate agents and this is our profession. We get licensed to be able to do this. So instead of you having to figure out what are you gonna net from this, the sale of your home? Do they have earnest money? Are they, what closing attorney are they picking? Is there any caveats or special stipulations that they put in the contract that you may not be aware of how to read or decipher? Financing contingencies, are they already pre-approved? What lender are they working with? What type of dates and things do they have in the contract? Are they gonna require you to do all the repairs? Getting property disclosures filled out completely, community disclosures, all these different items that make an executed contract we are the ones who are able to break all that down for you. So for example, if you have 10 plus offers on your property and you need to look at all these different items, most people think, okay, I'm just gonna focus on the purchase price because that's the biggest crucial part. I wanna make the most money possible. And honestly, that is not the most important thing in an offer. It's the whole entire package. What does that look like to you? and what is gonna actually successfully make it to the closing table, and that's really where we come into play to help you understand what offer is the best. The next thing I wanna talk about is closing attorneys. So as real estate professionals, like I had mentioned before, we have a lot of networking connections and people that we trust 
and we know have done a good job in the past for our clients. So closing attorneys, we have a lot of connections with closing attorneys that we know are able to get the job done. You as a consumer or you as a seller may not know of, you just may go look online and Google someone and they may not do a good job for you or they may have crazy fees. So that is another important part of selling your home is making sure that you get the right closing attorney. Inspections and appraisals. So we also do a lot of coordinating for our sellers. If the buyer has an inspection coming up and we need to relay that information to you or there's an appraiser that's trying to get to the property, we are the one who coordinates all that stuff. So if you are busy with your children or you have a crazy job and you don't have time for that, we are the ones who intercept that and help you to be able to schedule and make life easier. The last important thing with selling your home is timelines. If a buyer puts an offer on your home and they have 21 days of due diligence, that means that they can terminate the contract anytime within that period of time and get their earnest money back. So all these timelines, us as listing agents, we help you understand what's happening every single step of the process. And is the buyer actually meeting all their contractual obligations. Are they doing what they what they say that they're gonna do in the contract essentially? So that's something that is very important, making sure that we keep on top of that. So really quick, let's get into a couple story times. I have recently had two listings that have sold. My first listing was in Ardsley Park and we put this property on the market Thursday evening, a couple months ago. And that evening we had Within a couple hours, we had about 16 appointments already confirmed and we had one offer already in hand. The next day we had over 30 showing requests and we had about 10 offers in hand and my sellers were ready to get an offer accepted. This specific story, I helped them understand what offer was the best deal for them in regards to the proceeds that they were gonna be netting, what lender the buyer was working with, who the buyer was, all this information I helped them understand to make the best decision for them so that we could get them their next house basically. Another listing, I had a listing in Pooler and this specific seller wanted their home to remain on the market at least the weekend. So we had a total of I think 45 or 50 showings just for the weekend and we had about 15 offers that came in. So what I had to do for her was basically write out all the main points that I've already mentioned in this video, purchase price, earnest money, closing date, every single financing contingency, everything, and tell her this is what this offer means, this is what this offer means. And we ended up picking one and we successfully closed on the home and we didn't run into any issues. So not saying that you won't run into any issues when you're selling your home, but definitely having someone in your corner that is a professional and knows what they're doing is gonna help you tremendously. Since we're talking about offers already, go ahead and check out my next video, which is how to pick the best offer, and we will see you next week.